Good evening. Okay, so I've done my day of work. Lots of different stuff. It was a good day. Uh, so um, I've got a little bit of time to have another look at uh, what's going on with M M3 6 beta and whether I can get Snippet Pixie doing its thing. Um, so let's have a look. See, I was in the middle of... Uh, Oh, it's not clicking in. Hello. It stopped. Ah, okay. I'll need to have a look, see now, and see what's going on with that. So, yeah, so that could be a bit of an issue if it actually stopped off with through some sort of update but anyway we'll see anyway i was running a whole bunch of scripted updates that i do on a on a brand new box and uh i just kind of ran out of time before work but now we need to kind of see what's what what i'll do is i will have a quick look and see if i have no, so it didn't finish because I don't have all my sim links in the home directory that I would have. Which means I have no idea how far it got because I didn't put any login on. So I now need to run my updates again. And it's kind of item potent. Um, it should basically recognize oh, it looks like Keybase may have failed. Because that shouldn't be there. So we'll see what happens. Right, there we go. That'll be why then. I'll have a look and see what all the errors are in a minute. Let's see how far it gets. I think Inkscape is fairly far into the desktop script. It's a big old thing. Let's have a look. Let's stick it over there. Move that over there so I can see what's going on. It's a shame I couldn't um, see it all the way through because uh, I might have been able to fix that there and then. Right.
Okay, about halfway through desktop. So we've got game critter, standard notes, Thunderbird, Shadow, Broadway. So it's some quite big stuff yet to go. So I wonder why. Wonder why Keybase is failing out. Oh well, maybe not. We will check later. Yeah, it's the same error actually. It is just key base. So it may not be an issue. It may be something I can just fix up. But I'll wait until the script is finished before I do that. I probably should have gave this uh, VM a couple more CPUs and a bit of memory, which I could have done. What is it using? Four cores and only four gig of, uh, uh, four gigs of memory. Hmm. So what have we got installed already? Cool. I wonder if I should have a quick go at that update. sudo apt fix broken store.
Cool. All the usual things still work, which is nice. Let's have a look at some of the settings while we're here. Anything changed in desktop? Plenty in this one. So what's that one then? Automatic based on wallpaper. Mm, fancy. interesting I do need to fix the date Do that. Just put London in. It's interesting that you picked twenty thirty there. Doesn't seem right. I wonder if that's UTC. Hmm. That'll be interesting. I'm not going to start that, but I need that for Snippet Pixie. So I will see what happens once I've got that built. I'm hopefully running to see whether that either starts automatically or I need to do it. Right, this is what got us before. Probably suspended. Don't need to worry about that. Did it set? Yeah, yeah I should have looked at that before um, I went on off and did my day because that's obviously what killed the VM. basically suspended because I wasn't doing anything on it. Okay, now we 
doing. Okay, stuff for Katie. I think that's because I have, um, um, what's it called? Katie Connect. a lot of KDE stuff. Actually, I wonder if I do need the iBus. That might have changed at one point. So, we'll see. Again there. Discord, Mattermost, and DBGate. These are all things that recent additions. Just for testing really sometimes. I think it's going to be the next set that's probably going to cause problems. So after desktop, I think we've got um, all my sort of development stuff. So that's when we start doing Node and uh, various things like Go and all that. Um, they're, the one, they're the kind of things that you have to be very careful about the versions, so we'll see what comes down. D 
DBGate is an interesting little app. It's, uh, I think it's an Electron app, but it's um, using Svelte for its UI. And it's like a database management app. Um, I think it's fairly early on in its development, but it'd be nice to see how it goes. Okay, this is all the dev stuff now. Grunt, gulp, dig it, and then we're doing go. I do like snaps for them. Um, Keeping things nice and up to date. I need to do something with Hugo. meaning to but never do. All right, now I'm getting to database stuff. PHP 7.4. So Snapcraft is what I'll be using with uh, Snippet Pixie for if I do any updates because uh, although I build at the moment I build Snippet Pixie as a dot deb for elementary uh, that's going to change. Um, I use Snapcraft to let any other Linux distro have it. Um, but the big thing about um, elementary six is that um, where possible, uh, they want you to build a flat pack of your uh, apps to go in the App Store. So, so App Center. Um, but that will be another video when I try and do that. I have no idea how that's going to go. I kind of avoid flat packs at the moment. I've had a few problems with them, so I do tend to stick with dot debs and snaps because they tend to work. We're doing like VMs in a VM as such. Containers and VMs. Juju is uh, what I use for my uh, goal monitor stuff to create lots of containers and install stuff dead easily. Chat 
Charmcraft. Thanks for building the charms that go get pushed out with Juju. All right, Docker. Okay, this will be interesting to see how this goes. Premier Virgil. That's what I use. That's what you need for a uh, quick, quick EMU, which is uh, what I'm using to run this VM. So I mean, obviously, I'm not going to be using that in the VM, but at least it installed there. Okay. Right. Now we get to the IDEs. This is the important stuff for me. Uh, from a day to day. So at some point I'll be upgrading to elementary six. Um, I use PHP Storm in my day job for building uh, WordPress plugins and things. So I'll probably give that a bit of a spin later. It's a big old thing. Did not mean to do that. Installed OK. I'll see if it runs later. It's now on GoLand, which, if you've watched any of my videos, you've seen many times. I use that for building Goal Monitor. So I don't know, I don't only just use it for Go dev, I also use it for um, kind of Python stuff for. Um, my Juju charms, which you haven't really seen yet, I think. Um, but and then I also use it for kind of the web front end uh, with Svelte plugins and stuff. So again, very important. Uh, sea lion. Don't use that so often. Um, I have used it a bit for doing snippet pixie. Um, just for the convenience, really, of having a different, different IDE um, set up for 
for it's I mean it's Vala and it doesn't understand Vala, but under the hood it's all C code, so yeah, it's nice to have a IDE that's all about C dev. And it just means all my projects are separated across the IDEs, even though all the IDEs work in roughly the same way. PHP versus Go versus C stroke Vala. And then after this one, it'll be uh, PyCharm as well. Uh, because I've got a couple of standalone um, Juju charms that I've been developing as well. So I've been using that for that. It's quite slow today. All the downloads, I think maybe the rain because I'm on a, a Wi-Fi connection to the hub, my router, so over, over the garden. Not the best of signals today. It's quite slow that one. Okay. So I think the last of the stuff is going to be elementary. Yep. So we've got into div then elementary will be whip in through and that'll be pretty quick once that goes and then that'll be the end so it's pretty soon hopefully a couple of minutes and it should all be done it's a real shame the vm died actually I let it go to sleep. Should have should have twigged about that. All this would have been done without me having to sit here. Yeah, that's a lot of dependencies. This is for the elementary SDK, I think. Kind of mesmerizing just watching all this.
It's done. Okay. Right. So the stow didn't succeed uh, because I didn't clean up those beforehand. It's fine. But everything else seems to have done its thing. So, we want to get rid of dot bash RC. I need to automate this really actually. Don't know why I haven't actually. Okay. All right, run the update again, and this time it should whip through because it's everything's been installed. Okay. Um, okay. And there is all my siblings. Neat. All right. So we will give that a quick reboot and then make sure that everything kind of works afterwards. Because a lot of stuff has just been installed. Okay. Nice. That's nice. It starts there. Cool. Elementary, OS 6, Early Access, all the bits, that's kind of worked, that's cool. And 97 gigs free, that's a good amount, that's, that'll help, be nice. So, uh, let's see, let's get the terminal I like. Um, I think I will do that with a shortcut. So hopefully, look, uh, I think it's minus E. And is that right? Yep, good stuff. Uh, 
and toggle full screen. Think, talk, good stuff. All right. Okay. So, other workflow things I do. Presumably, we now have Tmux. So, I should be at Tmux. And then I will need to do control A. Hopefully that worked. It's not going to show me. And then install. So I use Tmux in most of my terminal sessions. Just in case I ever close the terminal, it's still working in the background. Um, that seems to have worked okay. So I can just call that admin there. Plug that in there. Let's have a reach top, see what's going on. Nice. Can I save? Tmux environment saved. Yay. Good stuff. Okay, right. While I'm in here, just make sure Vim is updated. So, uh, do Vim. Let it do its installs. Make sure. Oops. Good stuff. All right, that means all the basics are there. That's a new machine up and running. Right. But can I compile Snippet Pixie? I've got a projects folder I have. Okay. Uh, what's the URL for the snippet pixie? Uh, Git, isn't it? GitHub, but so just See if I can remember it off the top of my head. Because it's different to uh, to lots of other places. Uh, oop. What is the URL then? Blah blah blah, yes, thank you. 
I'll do that login later. No, give me the... Because I'm not logged in, it won't give it to me. Why not? I don't want to be logged in just yet. Oh, <laughs> so carry on. That's why. Okay, so in theory, I should be able to just do my setup and build. Um, and in theory, it will compile. But we will see. Right, so setup. Found all the things. Okay, fingers crossed. Oh, it worked. We hope. Hmm. Oh, yeah, well, I haven't installed it, have I? Okay. Uh, install it. Now it probably won't show its icon. It does. It's there. Nice. Okay. All right, while I'm here, let's do a quick test of the... Uh... Can I resize that off? Yeah. Uh, let's change the desktop stuff and see what happens. If I go dark, Snippy Pixie goes dark. Got blue stuff there at the moment. If I change my accent color to purple. We get purple. Good stuff. That means all the theming is working. Look. Now, will it try and import? It will. Uh. 
let's do uh, SP snippet pixie. Uh, let's try and do that somewhere. Um, let's open web. Welcome to web. Okay. So does this do? Yeah, it does. Okay. Interesting. No, it won't work in here. Nope. So, do is my shortcut is it is there? So I could do that. Good stuff. So it's working. So what I'll do um, so, so I guess fine blah 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 so let's go export um, let's export my stuff from here Uh, let's just put it in my home directory, I think, actually. Okay. Go back to the VM. Now, in theory, Was that uh, yeah I don't think I can actually grab that line that says 10 Blah, 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 connect. There it is. Stick that in my downloads, please. Okay. Import snippets. Yeah, update everything. There we are. All my snippets. With emoji. That's too bright. I'll get rid of that. Create a new file and we'll see. No, I'm not sure. No, I don't think it worked in here. Oh, I was typing the wrong thing anyway. So 
So M X minus. Oh, it does work. Yeah. So if it adds the um, the last character at the end all the time in code for some reason. So for whatever reason, it's better to just do a shortcut. Hit number five, does that work? Yep. Good stuff. Well, it works. Close without saving. Yes. Can I change the color of that? Mm. Okay. All right then. So, in theory, It's running. I should be able to stop it. So now it's not running. Um, I'll open this up. In another terminal. And uh, we'll see what happens. Just want to see if there's any error messages, because there probably are. No. Clean run. Let's do got to remember what is it? Is it is it G messages debug or was it debug messages equals all? Hmm, can't remember. We'll see in a second. Yes, yeah, so it's okay. Is there, is there anything nasty in here? Oh, that's good. Well, that's a success. Snippet Pixie seems to be working okay. Happy days. So I think that's all I'm going to do today. I've just basically wanted to make sure that Snippet Pixie is working. Um. Next thing I need to do is read up on the new requirements for um, being in the App Store, App Center, um, because it needs to be built in a different way. Um, so at the moment, it's built as um, a .deb, a sort of normal Debian package. 
um, but they're going to be moving to a flat pack setup. So um, I need to look into what the requirements are and uh, have a play with that. But otherwise, happy days, looking good there. I'm really happy that Snippy Pixie has run in and it was reacting to the theme changes okay. Um, so that's good. Uh, did I have anything outstanding? I didn't change anything in my dot files, did I? Ah, okay, right. First of all, I need to move that key base thing. And of course, I've added my elementary six setup, so I need to add that. So. Yep. Oh, GTI. <laughs> okay. Uh, this will add uh, update script for elementary six U M U. Sorted. Can't type. Type? Can't type. Can't even speak. Might be tired. All right. I guess that'll be it. So, um, until next time, uh, take care.